in this video, I'm going to show you how to work backwards just a little bit, right? So I'm going to try to show you, with a given standard deviation, how large of a sample would be necessary to have a standard error that's less than a certain number of points, right? So we're going to go through and we're going to see how, long, how big of a sample we need to get our st standard error less than 6 points, 4 points, and 2 points. Right, so let's start with six points first. So again, our um, equation that we're going to be relying on is the standard deviation, or standard error, sorry, equals um, standard deviation divided by the square root of your sample size. Okay, so uh, in, in this case, right, so we have standard error equals standard deviation divided by um, sample size. So what we're trying to find out is we're trying to find out this size right here. How big of a sample do I need to have my standard error as um, small as six points? Okay, so let's go. We know our standard, um, our standard deviation is... Um, is six, right? Because that's what we want. So, um, so let's see here. Let's let's go. Um, let's switch around a little bit. So let's go six equals um, twelve, because that's our standard deviation, right? And then um, square root of we don't know yet. So n. So again, we're looking for um, our sample size to get standard deviation or standard error to be six. Okay. So let's just manipulate this formula just a little bit, right? So bring the n, or the square root of n, over to this side, right? So again, we're just turning a multiplication, or a division uh, equation into a multiplication table. So we're gonna go six, um, basically times, square root of n, right? And then, um, so that's gonna equal now 12, because we're leaving 12 all by itself. Or, and, and then we can divide, right, divide 6 on both sides. So square root of n equals 2. Well, now I kind of got to go, okay, what do I have to have if I take the square root of it and I get 2? Well, 2 times 2 is, is 4. So my n, right, if I square both sides, um, is 4, right? Let's say we want to have a even smaller standard error. Okay, so same equation, right? Standard error equals standard deviation divided by the square root of n, right? So this time we're going to have 4, because that's what we want our standard error to be, 4. Still um, using 12 as our standard deviation. And then our unknown, though, is this sample size, right? So the first thing is bring that n over to this side. So 4 times the square root of n equals 12, and then divide it by 4, right? So square root of n equals now um, 3. And if I square both sides, right, so I'm going to square this side and square this side, now my n equals 9. Let's do one more. Let's make our standard error really small. Let's make our standard error, um, right, so standard um, error equals um, standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Let's make our standard error 2, right? So now we have still standard deviation of 12 divided by the square root of n. That's our unknown. Let's bring our square root of n over on this side. So 2 um, square root n equals 12. And then divide that by 2 on both sides. So our square root of n, sorry, let me erase that. Square root of n equals um, 6, right? And if I square each one of those sides, right, I have n equals 36. So I would have to get 36 people to be in my study. If I knew that the standard deviation was 12, if I want to have a standard error less than 2 points, 